A lot of doubt continues to be unearthed by the Parliament Select Committee instituted to investigate the alleged mismanagement of the National Social Security Fund as all witnesses pin each other. First, it was the surprising whistleblower whose information pinned then-managing director Richard Biargaba of corruption, revealing that the workers' representatives on the board, Sam Liomochi, also appointed himself on the top decision-making table. The word six, not four, not two, where did it start? Matua has never and is not a staff of NSSF, but just a whistleblower equipped with information. I wrote to Minister, the document is there, Minister for Gender, Labor and Social Development, Honorable Betty Ongom Amongi. Some of us do our work as patriots, as nationalists. But how did Matua get equipped with information? Yes. Can you give this committee yes. a copy of the response from the Honorable Minister? That's what Honorable Masaba is requesting no, you. I didn't come with the, with the copy of the response here, but I, if you need, I can de deliver it. Uh, well. Can you give us that letter in uh, uh, one hour's time? No, I have to greet you. Uh, Can you give us that letter by close of business today? For a butcher, if you can. You see, I have been in DC. You see, I, I, by the point of members, I came here, you see, I am actually sick. You can even see from my voice. So we ask. Is Matua a whistleblower or an agent to the supervising minister? And where does his interest lie? And to whom does he owe loyalty? And she gave you yes. even uh, complaints regarding bribery and complaints from Koftu. And she gave you even the operational budget of the fund. I'm, 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 I'm cautioning you kindly. Don't accept to be biased. Areas of contradiction include the now infamous six billion, the four hundred billion for land purchases, the declined reappointment of former MD Richard Biargaba, the one year reappointment of Patrick Ayota, the deputy managing director, disbursement of workers' savings to workers' union, absence of workers' house land title, among others. Did the board approve the six billion from the honourable six billion request from the honourable minister? Of course not. We haven't approved the six billion. A ministry that is supervising that body should not ask for money to run the affairs of the ministry. But could the six billion of failed reappointment have spilled the rot that was boiling inside the savers fund? That's why I was in awe when this request came through. Lay the net wider. Prior to the expiry of the contract and hitting the retirement age, President Yorim Seveni wrote a letter to the supervising minister, Betty Amongi, advising on how to handle reappointments. If you don't want me to exercise that power, please remove it away from me. Later written by the Prime Minister on 7th December, after a consultative meeting ordered by the President resolved that Richard Biargaba is appointed managing director. The letter reads, I appreciate that you have already appointed Mr. Patrick Ayota as deputy managing director. The purpose of this letter is to guide that you proceed and appoint Mr. Richard Biargaba as managing director as recommended by the board to avoid any managerial gaps. He has acted illegally with a lot of bias in rejecting my appointment and requ as required by the law However, and has opted to appoint the deputy managing director unconditionally. Again, another authority on the law. The attorney general gave a legal opinion as requested by the Minister of Gender. In a later dated 24th November 2022, the attorney general advised, and I quote, there is nothing in the laws that bars the reappointment of the current managing director if the board recommends so. But to date, this is still a point of contention. What exactly explains the decline to reappoint Richard Biargaba as managing director if not any single genuine concerns raised? Scandals are back to haunt the savers. Could this speak to the political interference the committee is investigating if not? Then what explains the delay? The workers can only afford to wait as uncertainty rocks the fund. Shamim Nabakoza, NBS. Live at nine.